Shut up and sit down. Hey, you scallywags! Had my first order from Flyema come in today, thanks to Awesome Action Toys. Shout out there. These guys, but him in particular, will be looking into today. And the other part will be uh, soon after or tomorrow. So stick around and let's crack on with the show. Hey, you scallywags! Got all this lot coming from uh, Flyema. Thanks to Awesome Action Toys for his code and getting that X12 in for only a dollar or equivalent of a dollar uh, in UK money. And here's the box, all the usual stuff here that you're yeah, not really interested in. Here's the back. All right, let's crack them open. Get the cellophane off. Here we go. Aha, here he is. Look at all that stuff. Nice. Let's open up the box. Oh, here's a pamphlet. Uh, the usual things here. In the back. Let's have a look at this stuff. Gun. Another gun. Another gun, helmet, um, wings thing, hands closed, fists, hands kind of open, knife, figure, look at that, look at all that detail and the stuff, let's stand him up and we'll get everything all uh, nice and neatly out prepared. So here's everything all laid out and stuff taken off. His exoskeleton, his armor, all that stuff. If you've uh, been on the channel before, you know I like to take apart my Joy Toy stuff. I'll do it with Acid Rain at some point when I get comfortable. But his face here? Um, yeah. Don't really like it that much, to be honest. But uh, yeah, the buck here is what we've seen before. He is uh, the 09th buck. Um, Sergeant Major in brown. Oh, he's got the symbol in the back there from the old school style. Alright, so articulation. His head moves all the way around from the neck, uh, top of the neck, and also down at the bottom bit there. He can move, say hello, and nod yes, and no, and stuff. Uh, arm goes up, and you can push up about there. Goes all the way around, bends, just over 90, goes all the way around there, this is the new style, not super new because you can see the wrists, but yeah, do whatever way you want to do it, but I try and have it like that, the other side as well, you can too, yeah, it becomes annoying after a while because sometimes you just want it to do what you want, but you don't know where it's uh, oriented. So here, movement at the top bit there of the torso, here also at the waist, nice and, well, maybe too loose. And you can bend down like that. Look at that. And, oop, neck popped off there. And you can go all the way back there, so you can see inside his ribs. Here's a Jean-Claude! Ooh! Type B for balls. Leg goes up like that. And back. There is a swivel there at the thighs. You can put that all the way up, his knee. And there is a pivot there. It goes up and down. Toe as well. Here's his helmet. Yeah. I liked it better in the pictures, I think. Don't like the weathering on it too much. Uh, weathering on lighter armor doesn't uh, joy toys don't really do that that well I don't think I want to see if this can fit into the helmet but I don't think it can it, uh, what some action toys did say they're a bit small and doesn't look like you'll be able to let's get this 
head helmet on. Difficult. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so he looks like without the armor. Here's a scarf. We've improved these or changed them at least. Don't know if they've improved much. Here are the shoulder pads. Uh, forearms. Here's the armor body piece. Look, the hole's there for the armor. Here's the belt. And you can take it off. And here's the thigh arm bits. There's a hole there too. Interesting. All right, now let's take them apart. Take this leg off. Let's get the thigh armor on. Be careful, of course. Heat it up, really, but I haven't been doing so, to be honest with you, because the new ones are a bit easier to, to take off and pull apart and stuff. I quite like doing it to the Joy Toy figs. Easy. Put it back on. And take the next off, the right leg. Same here. So yeah, very easy to do. But piece it up if you're worried. There. Pop that in. It's just the newer box is so much easier. Okay, and waist. Get this armor in through up here. There we go. Yeah. Clip in nicely. Uh, this one. Nice. And pop the belt there. Through. And click in. There. Right. Take his hand off, left hand I'm going to take off here. And put the shoulder bit there. Forearm goes in. And close back with your preferred hand. I'm just using the default here. Ah. Same on the other side. Up. Forearm. And. Nice. Looking good so far. There, split a room for the uh, belt for the uh, leg piece. All right, so helmet goes on. I put the scarf on already. There. It's a bit difficult to push in. Yeah, I think that's about right. Bit more and on his head. On with your head. There. See, look looks actually pretty good, even without the exoskeleton bit. Articulation once again with this armor bit on head moves the helmet head like that. Um yeah. Arm goes up. The, the arm bit gets in the way. Still alright though. Goes all the way and can bend still like that. Space for it to do so. And it can move a bit still like that. So still a bit of movement inside the armor there. Is your glue B for boohoo balls. Up. Still right. And you can still um, bend his knee like that. Everything else remains the same really. Okay, I think we should uh, maybe try his armor bits on. This guy is looking good though. Even without the uh, exoskeleton stuff. Still looks all right. Here's the exoskeleton frame upper torso part. Much like the wandering earth, but looks improved. Oh, oh. Mind that. Here's the leg parts. Again, similar, but I think they've improved in design and how it actually works. Take the feet off. Now, I'd recommend you do it from, not from the bottom bit, but from the top bit there. 
so you want that joint to come off not from the bottom ankle bit because that's more fragile maybe a bit more difficult to do just hope it doesn't break on camera uh, yes see look and try again with this one and yeah see look that bit is better All right this again off waist so that will get around the foot bit there just above the ankle same for this side then that uh, just get around the waist pop him on back on There'll be less movement now though on the waist, so still twist, but not much more. A mm, little bit. Here, put this back in. Careful with both, you don't want it to snap. There. There, looks good like that. See, look how it works. It's a nice mechanism. Run in. Run for us, run. Alright. Hand. Another hand. We'll get this on. So, pop it in the back there in the holes. That is for the armor bits that the holes go into. And then this. Put the hand through. Click in. And this top bit here pops in as well. Yeah. Do the other side. Yeah. And then clip this in as well. Pop that in. This was uh, popped out when I initially got it. There we go. Check everything is in, which it seems like it is. All looking good. Very elaborate exoskeleton. Look at it. It works really well. So many parts of articulation, look. Just for moving the hand. I do like it, I mean, I liked it from the Wandering Earth, which is why I got them, but this has been improved. But then having the uh, Aegis Sentinel, that's just very efficient and looks really good too. So, kind of like that. Just a bit more, I think. Yeah. John Claw run and this the wing bit just pop that in there in the hole there I like this look better than the uh, other flight guys yeah so far so good liking this fella let's uh, do some other stuff gun there's no bullet thing there, so hmm. fits in like that, but not very well. Doesn't hold it very well, and slips in there. Yep, that's better, I think. Knife here with knuckle duster thing. Fits in there. Phil Vanguard or something similar. His hand. Maybe use that hand, and I've nowhere. Oh, no, I have no idea where this stores. Probably nowhere. Gun, uh, not your normal kind of gun. Again, there's no bullets or anything in this. I think maybe there's some electric plasma kind of shot or something. That can go. Oh, God, this hand is terrible. Uh, George, we need to work on their hands. I'm playing about with uh, acid rain figures a lot now. Spoil. 
this yeah look it's just gonna come off you just have to really be careful with it and there no nope. let's try and get this in there All right so he's fake holding it with the other hand not really holding it look see it's just kind of there uh, yeah they, they need to sort out what's going to be right for them with regards to hands because this is just not cutting it maybe the other hands all right so this is uh, the other hand it's not my trigger one uh, yeah it does hold it but see it's gonna have problems look where it kind of angles so the forearm's gonna be here is a gun anyway um, mini gun uh, right let's see if we can hold this in this dodgy hand kind of you kind of can hold it there be very careful though not going to be easy to keep him like that like if you're kind of playing about quite a bit or wanting to do some you know posing you know rigorous posing it's going to annoy you looks all right though looks great though right so as of now oh look at that he just falls out of his hand um great figure i don't like it that it's a swappable head and the hands though are not great Ugh. just hold it might try it oh, bloody hell just forget about it and um, and so yeah, they need to work on that. I mean, he's made up of different parts, maybe a few new bits here and there, the wings, the helmet, chest, um, but, and improved on certain parts. But otherwise, yeah, hopefully the next iterations will be better. This though, that the hands, I can't stand them. Now, where's this darn skelly feller anyway? I'm on time. Where's he? Right, so let's uh, compare with a few other figures uh, that I'm messing about with recently. Here, my lovely Stina with a custom head from Spartan 118. Check it out. Uh, there's a video on, on her and the updated version. Here is Hell's Fifth. Uh, with custom other bits and bobs check out review on that too look all right goes well together now let's try this fella oh ninth sergeant major i think they look all right together too very futuristic looking this uh, hev a flying heavy uh, cavalry guy and then we've got steel spear so some of the parts are mined from him actually for the other guy I think the, um, some of his parts are met from somewhere else and we've got here Grim Reaper you might say, why is he with a lightsaber? Well, check out Into the Skellyverse Hell's Grim Reaper. And the rest of the Skellyverse thing. There's only two of them out there anyway. And... We've got... This fella! Wandering Earth. So, yeah. He's the one that that tech is based off. Exoskeleton. First him. So he's got the simple exoskeleton. This guy. This is where they uh, did that complex engineering. 
here but it clips on there I'm gonna have to take the hand off and yeah but it's pretty much the same they've improved the design somewhat the legs there look getting this clip on clip off here it wasn't a plug-in bit this bit this bit you had to just pop in there and it moves around so yeah there is a review of him if you want to have a look in, in depth that's it have a look see plug there not there up there pretty much the same mechanisms just improvements overall with the new guy now even with the legs here as well miniguns made it a bit more elaborate so yeah in closing solid figure um not without his flaws though the weathering i think could be better but joy so don't tend to do too great on weathering for lighter armor pieces um exoskeleton frame is awesome though and the hands yeah, um, the helmet, I wish it were just a helmet that goes over the head instead, but it does look cool, I guess. Overall, he is a pretty nice figure, and there's so many different parts, you can, I like that you can, you know, make it your own, really. You can customise, take bits off, add things on, that's what I like about my figures, there's so much in here, um, so you do get your money's worth, because there's a ton of stuff you can play about with. So I I'm, I'm probably won't use the wings maybe mm, on certain at least i've got them anyway so yeah check him out next one soon fly me to the moon and let me sing beyond what a beautiful the voice what? hi i'm skelly uh, knight of asperity chaos agent sir t what have you <laughs> oh who's that who's i'm a what now oh hey there cletus How many times must I tell you, boy? It's Kratos, not Kletus. Uh, well, to me, you're type B and type A, so... Furthermore, you're a bit early. Your episode is later. Oh, well, excuse me. I shall, uh, be off then. Fare thee well. See you, Kletus. Kratos, you moron. I miss you already. So, what is it we're doing here anyway? What is it I'm supposed to do with you, Skelly? Nothing much, just to uh, have a chat and uh, entertain the audience here. Let them know who you are and, yeah, do a plug for the show. There's an audience? Hell no, I'll get stage fright! <sighs> Fascinating. <laughs> oh, I'm He's really lost control. My pants. Oh. What an imbecile. Ow. Well, like, comment, uh, share and subscribe, you skellywags!